Welcome home, Aluxers. We've long been led to believe that owning a house as opposed to renting is the better financial decision. We've been told it's an excellent long-term investment or you need to get on the property ladder sooner rather than later and buy now because you never know how the laws might influence you when you're trying to own your own piece of real estate. However, as of late, there is a trend favoring renting for equally valid reasons, and today we'll explore the pros and cons of renting a home versus buying a home. We're also going to tell you how one man managed to own a home with the help of a little red paperclip. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. But let's get started with the pros of buying your own home. 1. Owning a home offers you security. If you've purchased a home within your price range and have made sure that you can afford the mortgage payments, your home will provide you with a sense of security. There'll be no anxiety about an owner possibly selling your house or having to worry about reporting to a landlord or real estate agent. 2. You can make alterations that suit your personality. When you own a property, you don't need to ask permission to hang a picture or paint a wall. You're free to do as you please to your own home. Any alterations you do will also add value to your home as opposed to making alterations to a home that isn't yours. 3. There are tax benefits that could benefit homeowners. Each person's situation is of course different, but look into the tax benefits. You could possibly qualify for something like homestead exemption. For example, if you lived in Louisiana, you would get a tax reprieve of $75,000 on the purchase of your homestead. So if you bought a property valued at $250,000, you would only be taxed as if the property was $175,000. Federal tax deductions could also be considered. You could deduct your property taxes and interest paid on mortgage, bringing down the overall income tax burden, and often this amount is quite substantial. Each country will have their own tax breaks or allowances when it comes to owning a property, so do your research and make an informed decision. 4. Owning your own property gives you the option to take a loan. If you purchase your own property and life throws something unexpected your way and you need to come up with some money quickly, you can take a loan off your bond. This could bring you some relief should you need quick access to a loan. Just keep in mind it does add time onto your repayments when you remortgage your house, and you will be paying interest on the loan. 5. It can be a great long-term investment. If your plan is to live in your home for 20 years, then buying a house is a better option because over time, your property will gain value. However, this can swing in the reverse when the market is volatile. But if you're able to invest the years into your property, there will be some gains made. If you're unable to commit that length of time, you're better off renting. Consider your home purchase as not just an investment financially, but also emotionally. You'll gain a sense of belonging when you're part of a community, and you and your neighbors can work together to uplift the area and look out for each other's welfare. Of course, there are plenty of more pros as any homeowner will tell you, but there are just as many cons that might make you reconsider purchasing a property right away. 1. Buying a home means a large financial outlay. When weighing out your options and making the big decision to either rent or buy, first and foremost, buying a property will require you to put down a substantial deposit. This varies from country to country, but in some places, your earnest check will be between 1% and 3% of the purchase price, and in other cases, as high as 10%. 2. It's easy to let emotions sway your decision. You look at a house that's just above your budget and you fall in love with it. You rationalize the decision and convince yourself it's a great investment and you'll be able to afford the mortgage. But over time, you realize you've overextended yourself and you have to sell the house you fell in love with. So be strict with yourself when considering buying and don't look above what you can afford. If you want to try for something that's just out of your price range, it's smarter to spend some time doing some saving to put down a bigger deposit. 3. The interest on mortgage is astronomical Without taking COVID into account, the average rate of a 30-year-old fixed-rate mortgage was 4.113%, which was a rise of 32 basis points. The rate of a 15-year fixed-rate mortgage rose by 9 basis points, bringing it to 3.522%. 
This was published Friday, March 20, 2020. The increased panic surrounding COVID-19 has changed those figures dramatically. With economic uncertainty and record low rates, people are rushing to try and get their mortgage rates lowered and payments deferred. Mortgage loan applications and refinance applications have seen a huge spike, with the highest level experienced in 11 years. The rates are sometimes being adjusted several times a day, so giving a definitive figure is unlikely at this stage. If you choose to pay off your home over 30 years, your monthly repayments will be less, but your overall purchase price will be higher because of interest. So if possible, opt for a shorter loan period. It might be tight for a few years, but it will mean less interest paid overall. 4. There are many hidden costs when purchasing your own home. Even if you can afford your monthly repayments, there are other expenses that need to be considered. House maintenance is solely your responsibility and it can be quite costly. Rates, taxes, and insurance are also on your account. If you'd like to expand or do alterations, you'll need to cover the costs. You might need to fork out money for a home appraisal, which can go up to $500. A home inspection is highly recommended, and as a general rule of thumb, closing costs can often be between 2 to 4% of the total cost of the home, so make sure to do your calculations before purchasing your dream house. Now that we've shed some light on the good and bad of buying your own property, let's do the same for renting a property. There's a plethora of pros when opting to rent instead of buy. 1. Renting is a great choice if you want flexibility. If your job means constant travel or you're not quite ready to commit to one city, then renting is a great option. You're not tied down to one place and have the freedom to come and go as you please, as long as you stick to your side of the rental agreement. 2. You're not liable for unexpected expenses. If something goes wrong on your rented property and you didn't cause it, you don't need to worry about fixing it yourself. If the toilet breaks, the plumbing bill is the owner's expense. Even the most basic expenses like changing light bulbs are all the owner's account. Another bonus is you don't need to spend your free time maintaining the house you're renting. No need to head to the store to buy paint, prepare the room, and then watch the paint dry. The only downside here is the repairs or alterations may not be as quick as you would like, but if there's no cost to you, it's worth the wait. 3. Credit requirements are less stringent. In order to purchase a home, your finances need to be solid. If you're not quite there yet, then renting is a safer option for you. As long as you haven't had any judgments against you or filed for bankruptcy, then renting shouldn't be a problem at all. And if you're a good tenant, your credit rating will go up. 4. You can live in a better area. Often, the rent you pay is lower than what you would be paying for a mortgage each month, which can afford you the opportunity to live in a better area. Without the additional costs that homeowners have, it's also possible to afford a higher rent. Now, of course, with as many pros as there are, there are definitely cons to renting a property as well. These are 1. You can't make changes to the property without permission. If you're renting a property, you wouldn't have the freedom to make changes that will suit your personality. You would have to accept how the property is designed. Sometimes owners love that their tenants want to make alterations or improvements, but that's usually at your own expense and it's impossible to recoup that cost when you leave. 2. You have no control over annual rent fluctuations. Rent usually increases with annual inflation, roughly 3% per annum, but that's no guarantee the owner of the property will abide by the increase. They could increase the rent as they feel necessary, which won't always align with your income or what you believe the property is worth. So if there are no regulations in place to protect you and if you're not in agreement with a rental hike, you might find yourself looking for a new place to live. 3. Renting is a waste of money. It's an argument you often hear, but it's a null and void factor. Regardless of whether you choose to rent or buy, you still need a place to live. No money paid into having the security of a roof over your head is ever a waste. The only waste in this situation would be if you're living above your means or paying exorbitant rent because you choose to live in a certain part of town. 4. Limited Housing Security if you're renting, you usually sign a 12-month lease. It can be stressful wondering if after the 12 months are up, the owner will extend the lease for another 12 months or not. Eviction notices must give tenants 30 to 90 days of a heads up to give them ample time to find new accommodations and pack. 
However, every move is stressful, costly, and disruptive. As a homeowner, you don't have that level of uncertainty. Of course, the option of renting a home versus buying one is up to you. Only you can decide what will suit your lifestyle, budget, and current situation best. But we're curious, Aluxers. What do you think is a better option, buying or renting? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, here's that bonus you're waiting for. We know that houses cost a lot of money, but there is a person who purchased a house using a paperclip. Kyle McDonald became known as the Red Paperclip Guy. In 2005, he was out of work and had a wild idea to start trading up. He first traded the paperclip for a fish-shaped pen, then he traded the pen for a doorknob and the list goes on and on. It took him 14 trades over the course of a year before he became the proud owner of a new house in Kipling, Saskatchewan. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.